Hi, George here. And we'll be taking this wacky photo here and giving it a completely different feel by doing two things. We'll be coming in and changing the background, pretty straightforward. And we're also gonna be adding a pattern onto this towel on the girl's head, including putting in some of the wrinkles and so forth in here in the pattern. Background's easy. The towel here is a bit more difficult, but more complex. But I'll walk you through all these steps to give this photo a completely different look. Okay, let's start off with a brand new picture. I'll just close this one down and we'll open up just her shot and have her up here on my recent list. There we go. Looks a little weird, I'm just to back out just a touch. Also, here's a good example of why you don't want to over sharpen something. If I zoom in here, get this really kind of weird speckly look. This picture has been over sharpened. Now you can get rid of this if you try to just soften the image up just a hair. It doesn't take very much at all. Go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and if I give it just a little bit of a blur, just that, just 0.4 pixels or maybe 0.5 pixels even, and that solves that really weird look that was in there. And that's something you occasionally will see on free image sites where the image has been over sharpened. I got this picture on Pixabay, and I'll put a link for this in the description so you can download this and work along with this project. The first step is what I always do here, and that's to go over here to the background, right click on that and duplicate that layer, choose OK. We'll be changing that background later on, so we need to have the duplicate up here, and we'll mostly work with that duplicate. If you wanna be really safe, I always like having an original image in here that I don't touch at all. So let's just go ahead, right click, and let's duplicate that again, and I'll hide that one. This is my safety layer. I'm just gonna rename this. So our working layer up here, safety layer is hidden, and we'll be changing that background. Okay, let's go up here. Next step, pretty straightforward, and that's just to create a layer mask in here and mask out this existing background. So we need to make a selection around the girl and around this towel on her head. You can use any technique that you want. Right now I'm in Adobe's Photoshop Elements 2025, so I'll just go up here to select and come down to select subject. And this should make a real nice selection for us. There we go. Now, if you're working with an earlier version of Photoshop Elements and you don't have subject select, it's okay. Use any of your selection tools down here to make that selection. This is a pretty straightforward image and anything will make a good selection for you. What I think I would do is probably come over here and use a quick selection tool and just work along the edges with a quick selection tool and then fill that in. So again, pretty easy to do this. So here's our basic selection. Now we need to remove the background. Very, very easy. Just click on the new layer mask button right here and the background is now gone. If I hide the background, there we go. The background is removed. Now notice that we have a pretty sharp edge. I wanna soften that edge down just a little bit. So go over here, layer mask side. Notice that we have this light blue outline around that. That means that we're on the layer mask right now. So go up to filter, come down to blur and Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna be giving this a blur of just two pixels. Just very soft, very low blur, choose okay. And that's just enough to soften up that edge so we don't have a real hard edge effect on this thing. Okay, that's taken care of. Now we can change the background on this, and that's easy. Come down to the graphics button, bottom right hand corner. And in here, I have this set for by type, that's the default, and set at backgrounds. And then you go to the right hand side, we'll pull this down a little ways, it's down not too far. It's pretty easy to see. We begin seeing Africa up here, and here's a leopard skin, and here's some zebra animal fur, and then right down here is an autumn forest. That's what I want to use as the background. Before we do that, though, we're going to change to this background, the animal fur leopard, and I'll show you why right now. Now, if you're seeing a blue triangle up here, you've seen that right over here, that means that you haven't yet used this particular background, so it hasn't been downloaded onto your computer. That's the way Photoshop Elements works. It keeps everything up online until you use it, and it then copies it onto your computer. So to add or change your backgrounds, make sure you have a currently active internet connection to do this. Okay, I'll click on that. There is that background. Now I need this for the towel up here, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing next. Come down here to Layers. There's a background, right click on this, duplicate that layer, choose OK, take this layer and drag it above our top layer here. So it's sitting in front, you can go ahead and just hide that. So this is gonna be our texture layer. Let me just double click here and call this one texture, like that. 
Let's now change our background again. Go back down to graphics. And it's right down below that one, right here again. That's the autumn forest picture. This is our new background. And now, if you look at that edge, it's just a slight softening of the edge. That's why we blurred out that layer mask so it blends in better with the background. Okay, back to our layers. And I want to do just a couple of things in here to improve this. One is a little bit too sharp because she tends to be going a little out of focus right back here. So the background shouldn't be sharp and her sharp and out of focus in front. We need to fix that problem. And that's that same Gaussian blur again. Go to filter, come down to blur, Gaussian blur. And I'll give this one a blur of three. It just softens that up and looks better when we compare that to her hat up here. If we didn't do this blur in the background, it would stand out and just look kind of odd in there. We may want to adjust our values. We'll look at that later on when we get to that point. Okay, now that's the easy stuff. Let's now work on the trickier stuff, and that's going to be this towel on her head. So for that, let's go back over here to this layer. I want to have a new layer with just the towel on it. So let's right-click where it says background. Duplicate that layer, choose OK. I'm going to double click here. This is going to be the towel. I'll rename this one. This is just the portrait. So on the towel layer, we need to remove her face out of this. That's coming in here and adjusting the layer mask. Let's now come in and make a selection around their face. And for this one, I'll be using the quick selection tool. And this should do us a good job. Make sure we're sitting on add here if you let go. And just go around and select her figure out. And just work around slowly. And this, again, this should do a real nice job for you. If it's off a little bit, we'll fix that. Come in and get the interior parts. Here's our basic selection. I need to fix this bit right over here. Let's just change this to subtract. And I'll come right down that side there. And then right down over in here. And now we have a selection of just her face area. Let's come back and add to the selection. I want just a little bit right here, but I'm going to change my tool here to the selection brush. And then I'll just brush in right here or along that edge. Okay, now I want to change this part of our layer mask to black. So let's go over here to the layer mask. Make sure you see that light blue outline around the layer mask side. Go to the paintbrush. Make sure your foreground color is black. And let's hide this layer here, the portrait layer, so that's not going to be confusing us. And then paint black into this part of this layer. And what we're doing is we're masking out and hiding her face and leaving just the towel on that layer. So making a new layer mask for just the towel. And just continue along and paint out her whole face. If you want to, you can go larger on your brush. That's the right square bracket key. Make sure you get the whole thing and just paint that all out. So we have just a towel kind of floating there in space. All right, once that is done, use the Control D keyboard shortcut to deselect that. And there's the towel layer. We now need to convert this layer to black and white. I'll go back here to the image side of the layer. Let's go up to Enhance, come down to Convert to Black and White. And it wants me has pretty good contrast up there. I'm just going to click through these. That's too much. I want to see some shape in here. Just going through all of these. Looks like urban snapshots or portraits is about the same. So I'll use portraits. We can increase our contrast now just a bit. You want to see we have some actual white showing down in here. That looks good. Choose OK. So here's our black and white. Let's now push the contrast even further on this. Go up to Enhance, come down to Adjust Lighting and Levels. Notice that I'm not doing anything up here with Adjustment Layers. This is right on the actual layer. And here I'm going to squeeze in the blacks a bit. And I'll squeeze in the whites. Now don't go so far that you lose any detail over here. I just want to bring the whites up without losing detail. So I still have some detail up in here. That's good. I think I can bring my blacks in a lot more. That's on the right-hand side. We'll bring those up until you begin to get it blocking up in here. So that's too far, but that's pretty good. It's just beginning to block up there. Right there is nice. Choose OK. Let's now soften this down a bit. 
going to be blurring this out. So that's filter, blur, and the Gaussian blur. It's not going to take too much. I just want to lose the detail that we had in there. So it looks in here up around 8 maybe. So we've lost the detail and we're just getting just the basic shadowing shapes. Pretty good. I like that. And just a little bit more, maybe as much as a 9. Okay, that looks good. Now this is going to be used as what's called a displacement map. That will help us make that offset for the texture to go onto the towel. Now to make this work, I'm going to make a duplicate of this layer. Right click where it says towel, duplicate layer, choose OK. Let's hide that towel layer. We're now on the towel copy layer. Right click where the name is and come down to simplify layer. That collapses the layer mask onto the towel image so it's just the towel image and nothing else. Now hold the control key down, click on that layer mask, and it selects out just that part of the image. Okay, now go up to edit and copy or use the control C keyboard shortcut. That puts a copy of this on the clipboard. Let's now make a new file, file and new, blank file. And your option here should say clipboard. If there's anything on the clipboard, it's going to say clipboard. If you want to, you can give this thing a name. I'll call it displacement map towel. And here is that new file. You can go up to edit and paste or use the control V keyboard shortcut. We've now pasted that image onto this. So this is going to be our displacement map. And save that. Save it anywhere you want. I'm just putting this into my working folder here for these videos that I'm making. Choose save. And we have our displacement map. Okay. That's taken care of. Let's now show the texture layer. Take your towel copy layer, drag it to the top like that and hide that. We'll come back to that in just a bit. Let's now come back down here to texture. And this is our leopard skin pattern. Go up to filter, come down to distort and displace right here. Set the horizontal scale and the vertical scale at 50. The displacement map stretch to fit. Repeat edge pixels and embed file data in smart object. All that's good. Choose OK. And it's going to ask you for a file to use as your displacement map. And that's what we saved right there. Displacement map towel, PSD file, choose open. And notice how it's now distorted the image. You can see it over in here and you can see it especially over in here. The image has now been distorted to match that shape, that towel shape. We now need to grab a layer mask. We'll come down here to the hidden towel layer. Hold the Alt key down, drag that straight up. That puts a layer mask for the towel. And we have the towel with the bends. They're kind of hard to see here, but they're on there. And that gives us that kind of a towel shape in here. Let's now show the portrait again. And let's show our towel again on top like that. Go onto the towel copy. You go to our blend modes up here. The one you want is soft light. And that puts in the lighting from this one onto that layer. Let's now come down to this layer here. And then back up here to our blend modes. And this time come down to multiply. And that multiplies that in with the image underneath. And there is that towel coloration. That's all looking good. You can see have brighter colors in the foreground. Let's bring the background up a little bit. Go up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels, choose OK. And when you want to increase contrast, you'll be bringing in the right and the left hand sides of this. And that increases the contrast. Don't go too much or it gets too wacky and begins to do that kind of thing where it's showing too much. So just a little bit on the right hand side, a little bit on the left hand side. I like to rock back and forth and see what the effect is in here. I don't want to go too bright on that again because it tends to diminish the look of the foreground. But there we go. A little tweak on that. And we've now taken her and moved her over to Africa. If you want to learn a lot more about how to do stuff in Photoshop Elements, learn all the tools, all the panels, everything. I have a complete training course for this. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.